News. Okay, Horace, thank you very much. Well, the food police issued a warning tonight about what they're calling extreme eating. The Center for Science and the Public Interest found appetizers and restaurant entrees that pack enough calories for your entire day. Greta Cruz is here with the details on this. Greta, it's enough to ruin your appetite, Allison. Now, for years, the food you buy in the grocery store, the pack foods have had to list their nutritional contents, but there is no such requirement for restaurants. And with a skyrocketing obesity and other health problems in this country, there is a new push, including one locally, to put that information on the menu. Yolanda Howard eats out several times a week. Do you know how many calories you, you eat when you go to a restaurant? No, I don't. <laughs> no. But they should, says the Center for Science and the Public Interest. Did you know, for instance, that Uno's potato skin pizza appetizer has more than 2,000 calories, as many as three personal Pizza Hut pizzas? Or that Ruby Tuesday's healthy-sounding fresh chicken and broccoli pasta really has 2,060 calories and 128 grams of fat, the equivalent of two steaks, two buttered baked potatoes, and two this Caesar salads. DC Councilman Phil Mendelson yes. is introducing legislation to require chain restaurants to list on their menus the nutritional content. We would require four items, carbohydrates, sodium, calories, and saturated plus trans fat. That's four items. Some, like Eileen Chiamsky and her daughter Ashley, support such a requirement. I like to know what I'm putting into my body. I think it's a good idea because, like the mom said, that way you know it's going down your throat. But restaurants oppose such a requirement. And Clyde says dishes can simply be modified at the customer's request. We're not nutritionists. We're restaurateurs providing great, fresh food that is customizable. Restaurants say this is no place for the food police. Now, many restaurants also put that information on their websites or have it available at the eatery itself. But critics say it's not readily accessible. New York City, by the way, has passed a similar law. It takes effect in July. Back to you. Okay, Greta, thank you very much for that. Now we have